My name is uh, Carl Kent, and I uh, digitized um, four of the glass plate negatives uh, that um, I then, from the World's Fair of 1904, the Missouri History Research Library asked me to come and digitize these. And after digitizing about 400 of them, I found four that I could put side by side into Photoshop and concatenate them together into this uh, amazing panorama view of the uh, fair that was held here in St. Louis in Forest Park in 1904. What I'm going to do in this uh, video is explore the fair with you uh, using this um, particular uh, concatenation of four glass plate negatives that I brought into uh, Photoshop and turned into positives for us. So let's uh, begin by explaining a couple things. Over here on the far left, that is the south. And over here in the far right, that's the north. And down at the bottom, that's toward the east. And up that way is toward the west. Now, let me get you oriented. And I'm going to zoom in on this image and show you the art museum. There it is right there. That is the St. Louis Art Museum. And next to it is Festival Hall, which is not here anymore. And none of these buildings you see not one of them is still in existence. They were all made out of temporary structures, wood and a substance made of plaster of Paris called staff, and they're all torn down. But this is Art Hill as it was in 1904 at the World's Fair. Now I'm going to zoom out. Now that you got oriented, you know where we're at. Um, and we're up in a tower, a um, wireless tower that was erected over near the uh, current where we have the History Museum at De Bolivar and Skinker. That's where we're standing right now, where the photographer stood, and we're overlooking the whole World's Fair, all the buildings that were there in 1904. Now, if I uh, move over, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, and you can see over here on the right, this street going down here is um, Lindell Boulevard, and it continues on and goes this way. That's Lindell. The street coming in here is De Bolivar, Colonel De Bolivar. So that gets you oriented as to where we're at. The current Missouri History Museum, which was not there in 1904, uh, was, was built after the fair in this area here. Um, so that gives you an idea of where we're at right now and what we're looking at. We're way up in this 400 foot tower with the photographer and he's looking down and here is the model playground. It was in the model city. And that's what this is here, the model city that was constructed on the fairgrounds here. And if we go up, we can see um, that the there was a model hospital, a model city hall, all of that. Uh, to replicate what would be a model city um, if one could be constructed. Uh, you can see here um, that is a water a squirter. It's squirting water to keep down the dust from the dusty roads that were there in the model city. Um, and so I'm going to scoot up here a little bit. And you can see over here, this is King Louis, the statue that we now have up in front of the art museum. After the fair, it was cast into bronze and moved up to the top of Art Hill in front of the Art Museum. So it, um, in, it at this point, is simply Plaster Paris staff. Um, and now over here, along uh, Lindell Boulevard, we have all these mansions here now, but this is none of them were there in 1904. Instead, the Pike, the, sort of the entertainment section of the World's Fair, um, this was a uh, uh, a replica of a Bavarian village where you could go and eat and enjoy uh, bands and so on. And uh, you have all of these exhibits all the way down Lindell Boulevard, uh, the famous talking horse, I'm talking, spelling horse, <laughs> Jim Key was along here as well. So that's what we're looking at there. Now, as we zoom out again, and we move over to the right. Um, if I zoom in, just to get you oriented a little bit, um, way back here, this is Washington University that we see there. And Washington University 
uh, was a part of the fair uh, back then. It was built by Wash U, but they uh, leased it to the fair and a lot of exhibits um, and scientists met there. And back behind it was Francis, what's now Francis Field, and that's where the Olympics were held back in 1904, the first time we had them here in America. And so as we go over, this structure here is the Ferris wheel. 65 individuals could fit into one of the cars on that Ferris wheel, one of the cars. And uh, so that's where the Ferris wheel was. And we come back over this way and we see Art Hill and water was cascading down uh, from the uh, center and from the side cascades. Uh, the world's largest organ was in there and played. And uh, then this structure here was the colonnade of states. Each state carved out of the Louisiana Purchase had a special statue and exhibit in this colonnade. As we come over, uh, you can see here, um, we have a bandstand. We have one of the lagoons where there's a, a boat. Uh, some of these were uh, gondolas and uh, they would take you all around the area. Uh, what, what I'm doing right now is zooming out a little bit because um, as we uh, take a look at this tower um, and we zoom back out, um, we're going to move over now to the right. And over here in this area, this here is the um, US government building. Smithsonian had exhibits in here. They showed how to print money, um, dinosaur skeletons, all that were in there. And that's, you know, where the World's Fair Pagoda is right now at the top of that hill with the waters coming down in our current day. That World's Fair Pagoda wasn't there back then. Instead, um, what was there was this government building and behind it, the Missouri State Building. That building burnt down. It was going to be permanent, but it burnt down. So they put the World's Fair Pagoda up there after the fairground. And then, of course, um, you know, where the um, boathouse is, um, where you can, you know, have eats and you can get go out on the lagoon. The boathouse would be located right about in this area here. And, of course, the water uh, then was opened up and there's water in here. And you could get on a boat and go all the way over to Art Hill. But this is what it looked like in 1904. The tents... This is the Jefferson Guard. They lived, as, these are the guards that walked around uh, the um, World's Fair and they uh, protected uh, the fair exhibits and so on. And they lived on the campus there in those tents. This was the um, Palace of Mines and Metallurgy where you see these pillars. And so radium was put on display in this building along with all kinds of other metals and so on. And um, and then this building here uh, was one of the uh, palaces where all kinds of amazing exhibits were um, put before your eyes. And you can see here the Jefferson Guard is marching along at that point. And um, so again, we can go over here and see the bandstand. There were bandstands were all over the fairgrounds. Um, and you could have heard all kinds of different bands playing all the different types of music back then. You can see the statues up at the top of the buildings um, that people down on the ground, you can see how small they are. Could hardly see these, but they were very ornate. And uh, then we move over this way. Again, this was the largest building on the fairgrounds. It was the Palace of Agriculture, a gigantic building with all kinds of food exhibits and other kinds of exhibits in there as well. This dome you see here in this area just down the hill from the art museum uh, was a part of the old city of Jerusalem that was reconstructed, the old city here in Forest Park uh, during that uh, time. And again, there's your Ferris wheel. And um, zoom in a little bit more. Yeah, that's about as good as I can get. Palace of Machinery, Palace of Manufacturers, all these different palaces um, were um, there. And way over here at the top, you can see the city hall in uh, U City. It wasn't called City Hall back then. It was a women's magazine building. But um, they had a big searchlight on there uh, that still works. And you can see it once in a while. They'll turn it on. And there were tent, there were tent um, cities over here where you could stay uh, in these, city, uh, these tents with wooden floors and heat and so on. 
and then walk over to the fairgrounds from there. So this is uh, basically an overview of the 1904 fair using a gigapan image that I created out of four uh, glass plate negatives uh, that were taken back from a tower um, in the, uh, the fairgrounds.